Yeah. Hi folks. Good day to you. And it's good to be here again. This is Ian Rand signing in. Today we're going to talk about the power of your emotions. You know, many people say you have to do something. You've got to take massive action. If you want to be successful, there are certain things that you have to do. You gotta do this, you gotta do that, you go there, you go here, and you gotta believe in yourself, etc. etc. These are all good, it's good advice. You gotta believe in yourself, of course. It's also one, but the most important thing I'm gonna tell you today is take control of your emotions. Yes! Did you understand that? Take control of your emotions, because emotions is it. And your emotions, they work through your body, what we call body language. Now, I want to tell you something. You know, your body is the way you express yourself. And the way you express yourself physically, that is also the way you make your decisions. Now, I call the states. It's in a certain state you are. Now, there are many states. There's about 6,000 states that you can be in. You can be unhappy. You can be frustrated. You can be disappointed. You can be cheerful. You can be um, happy. You can be elated. You can be euphoric. You know, these are all states that you're in. I want to tell you something. I have found a way to get yourself in a positive state because not every day is a nice day. I know that. Some days you get up and you look outside the window and you say, oh man, it's raining again. Oh, it looks very cold. Oh, wow. No, now I still have to go to work. It's Monday morning. Oh, no. Now, that already alone influences you because now you've allowed the emotions to come over you. Hmm. Emotions can't just come over you. You are the one. You control your emotions. We can start like this. Just assume that you have, you've had, you've experienced a bitter disappointment. Someone has disappointed you. Normally you pull your face like this and normally your, your body language is sort of crumbled up. Now, how can you get out of the state? And you think at some, something has to happen for me to get out of the state. But let me tell you one thing. You can get out of this state immediately. I found a way. My way is, I always imagined a particular day when I was very euphoric. When something good happened to me. And then I tried to anchor myself physically onto the state. You know, sometimes when you fall in love, a beautiful state to be in. And I anchor myself onto this state. And so when I have to, when I go to work or whatever, I know it's my body that speaks, not only my words. And then I anchor myself through a certain thing that I do and that is, yes, I get myself into a good state, a positive state, a happy state. And then of course, when you make decisions in this state, your decisions are based on a positive Bases a positive foundation because you've made it in a state where your body, you know, where your body is an absolute congruence with your feelings. Some people we forget our bodies completely, we forget our emotions. If you look at our schools, for example, we like to give them transference of knowledge without any emotions. We come and you say, Well, this is how we should do it, this is what you must learn. The poor kids. There are no emotions. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. They want to feel something that's there. You can only get anybody to learn anything if you come there with the right emotions. The emotions are how good it is to be alive. First things first. How good it is to see you. How good it is to be with you. These are the first emotions. And it doesn't matter what you do. When you are a salesman, a salesperson, you go out there selling, you got to get your emotions under control first. Because if you are in a good state, you are in an absolutely good state, you go out there and you sell. What do you normally get? That, that's how life is, because everybody is different. You get no, no, no. And what do you do? You keep your state good. No matter what the other person says, whether he says no, you keep your say, you wish him a good day. You say, that's okay, fine. You just didn't understand what I was trying to sell you. 
And if you go on doing that, you'll find that sometimes, because it has happened to me many times, when I was out there selling, the customer would come, he thinks, oh, I probably do have something that he really needs. You know what he wants? He wants my good feelings. Have you ever experienced that when some people walk in the room, the room brightens up, there is a great feeling in the room, without that person having to have said anything. And have you ever been in this room where some people, where someone walks in, and the whole atmosphere goes right down in the drain? Have you experienced that? And it's because the emotions, we human beings, we have emotions, and these emotions can be transported to others. These emotions can be can uplift others or bring other people down. So motivation is you can you don't have to tell yourself, oh I motivate, I motivate, I motivate, I'll be able to do this and do this if I'm if I say it a thousand times, give myself affirmations. No, you start off with your emotions and your emotions is in motion you your body is in motion and sometimes you can get up in the in the morning and celebrate you can celebrate yourself you can celebrate and say well it's a good day it doesn't matter how you feel and after that you will start feeling good and when you feel good believe me the universe gives you what you need the universe gives it to you because you have taken your emotions under control. You have decided, I want to be in this state, this positive state, the state that attracts. So I want to wish you a good day and keep your emotions in good shape and keep your body also in good shape. And you will see that things will start happening to you. Right? This is Ian Rand signing off with lesson eight. So see you next time. Bye-bye.